Long car rides are uncomfortable for the typical child. For the disabled child, particularly those with respiratory and swallowing problems, car rides can be dangerous, especially if forced to sit up in a car seat. Racheli has Tay-Sachs disease. She's unable to sit up on her own and she has very little head and neck control. When she was first diagnosed, we purchased a special needs car seat. Even with the additional head and neck support, her head flopped forward. The discomfort of sitting up in a car for long periods of time often led to gastric reflux or outright vomiting, resulting in gagging and choking on stomach contents. And in Racheli's case, aspiration into the lungs. Aspiration pneumonia could be life-threatening. Racheli needs to lie on her side while in the car. That way, if she starts to choke, she's able to cough up the obstructing substance and clear her airway. Our only option was to lay her on the car bench with the seat belts wrapped around her body. It was not a safe option. Wearing a dog harness that can be attached to a seat belt is another possibility which I've not tried. Car beds for children older than one month of age do not exist. Car beds for pets do. Perhaps someone will develop a car bed for kids that will meet safety standards. For now, I've created my own car bed so Rocheli can rest as comfortably in the car as she does in her bedroom. We have a Ford Windstar with a three-seat bench in the back and a two-seat bench in the middle. The middle bench works best due to accessibility from both sliding doors. The first thing I did was remove the anchor straps from the back of my special needs car seat. Ours was a gorilla car seat and there were two anchor straps. I then anchored the two straps to the appropriate latches on the back underside of the bench. The sights of these anchors vary with each vehicle. As you can see on this slide, they can be on the ceiling or frame around the rear door, on a rear shelf of sedans, on the back wall of pickups, underneath the seat in vehicles with reinforced seats, or on the cargo floor of station wagons, hatchbacks, vans, and SUVs. I then took out my old pack and play. When fully packed up, the mattress pad is wrapped around the actual playpen. The mattress pad underside is hard and the top side is cushioned. One edge of the mattress pad has Velcro straps, the other edge has hooks. I placed the mattress pad on the center bench with the Velcro straps on top near the headrests and the hooks on the seat where one's legs typically hang. I then pull out the side seat belt. As far as it will go. And snap it into the socket underneath the mattress pad. This can sometimes be tricky. One strap should lie in the crease of the bench over the pack and play mattress pad in order to secure the mattress pad to the seat. The other strap should lay across the back of the bench over the mattress pad at an angle in order to secure that part of the pad to the back of the seat. This is very important because the car bed seat belts are the anchor straps which will be attached to this mattress pad. So we need this pad to be anchored down first with the standard seat belt. For greater comfort, I place a long, thin pillow over the mattress pad. A body pillow would work just fine. In special needs catalogs, other forms of seating can be found, though a longer anchor strap may be needed. U-Haul stores carry a variety of straps with hooks, which could work in lieu of the shorter anchor straps. The car bed is now essentially complete. Make sure the hooks are in the right place. Practice securing the anchor straps to the hooks. 
I then make the bed with a pillow or two and a bed pad. I place her favorite pillow under her head. The car bed is now ready for its precious cargo. The two anchor straps should reach over the back of the bench and then over the child. They can then be hooked onto the underside of the pack and play mattress pad. The child can now be placed into the car bed. Adjusted for comfort. And then strapped in. the anchor straps taut so that they lift the underside of the mattress pad up a bit, creating a curved nest to prevent rolling forward while driving. She can now be made comfortable and cozy.